Hey everybody, good morning, happy hump day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, <clears throat> it is 11, 11, oh my God, it's a perfect time to do an online live video. Yes, I love when the angels are talking to me. Um, who else hears the angels? Um, you know, in time, I often hear them in license plates, um, the angels talking to me, um, but that's not really what I want to talk to you about today. What I really want to talk to you guys about today is how to feel happy or just the fact that it is possible for you to feel happy, even if your life feels like poop right? Like all of us I know have gone through life experiences that feel really shitty and like whether it may be, you know, a family member could be sick or, you know, it's just like you have those times or those phases in your life where like things just don't seem to go your way and you feel like everywhere you turn, you get stuck and everywhere you turn something else falls apart and everywhere you turn you feel further and further away from having the life that you believe somewhere is possible for you like you believe that happiness is possible but yet all of your outside circumstances are telling you that it's maybe not possible or that it's far away from possibility and what I want to do is sort of like debunk this myth that we can only be happy because of what's going on in our outside world like that is what all of like TV and magazines and Facebook ads are trying to sell us that the only way that we can be happy is if we have X, Y, and Z like in our life, like in our, hey, Mike, what up? Um, so that is what like everything is trying to sell us that like we need to have the fancy car to be happy. We need to have the fancy jewelry to be happy. We need to have the fancy house, the whatever, whatever, like, we need all of these outside things of ourselves and then like when our life hits the fan because inevitably it will like somebody in your family is gonna get sick I'm not wishing that but like you know what I mean? like life happens like you're gonna get into a car accident a client or business deal is gonna fall through you're gonna have a fight with your partner like life just happens and if in in those moments all of that stuff does not matter it doesn't matter if you have the fancy car if you're unhappy in your relationship it doesn't matter that you have um you know whatever if like you get into a car accident it doesn't matter if like you have you know a fancy house if like a parent is is ill like none of that stuff matters and none of that stuff is going to make you happy the only thing that is going to make you happy the only thing that is going to make you content the only thing that is going to actually be able to transcend those difficult shitty experiences is by knowing that happiness joy excitement peace is an inside job like that is it and I used to I want to say like I knew that intellectually in my mind that like all these outside things like weren't gonna make me happy like a sustainably happy but I never really felt like what it meant to have that internal sense of, of, of happiness and peace until I really started my meditation practice and so what happened was you know <clears throat> Since I have um, been doing a consistent meditation practice, what I have seen is that like I have these sort of shitty outside looking shitty circumstances happening, yet like I feel okay and I'm like, all right, like no big deal. I can tackle that. Okay, like my childhood dog, like the last one um, died like about two months ago. Like it was sad and I went and it was sad and I cried and but like I didn't lose my inner self of, of joy right the joy that I know I didn't allow that outside circumstance to take over my entire energy and my entire well-being my entire um, way that I believe that life is supposed to go and how life is supposed to move through me. I saw that circumstance and I felt the emotions that I needed to feel in the moment. <clears throat> 
and I return to my practice because here's the thing, meditation just allows us to be on an it like an even playing field. Meditation allows us to work through the blocks, to work through the stuckness that we experience in day-to-day -day life. Because when we are have this sort of mentality of, I feel stuck, I can't do this, I am tired, right? When we have that, because and I've had that, I've had that for sure. When we have that mentality, whatever circumstance, whatever obstacle we're coming up against, what are we going to feel? I feel stuck. I feel tired. I can't do this, right? But if we have meditation practice that helps us to, to keep an even keel of um, emotion, then when I get to that opportunity, I'm going to start to be able to see creative ways of solving the problem. I'm going to start to be opening up to inspiration of how to maybe go about the problem from another direction. I'm not going to feel so stuck in this box that because I have this obstacle, the obstacle is what's making me stuck. I'm going to realize, oh, this is big. I'm going to realize that it's not the obstacle that's making me stuck. It's my internal sense of stuckness that makes me stuck. Do you guys get that? Like that is like, really profound and like very, very big. So whenever we are coming up against like these obstacles, these um, difficult emotional times in our life, you know, and traumatic times sometimes, right? It's not the circumstance itself that's making us stuck. It's our internal sense of stuckness that is keeping us stuck, right? And so that is why a meditation practice is key and being able to do it consistently <laughs> and to um, be able to do it with grace and with um, reverence is so, so, so important because it allows us to... Um, <clears throat> come when we come across these shitty difficult circumstances it allows us to see creative solutions to the problem it allows us to be inspired by what we're going to do and how we're going to do it it allows us to be connected to the divine or to this universal energy of well-being that allows us to see this as a temporary thing and it's only what it's doing is just allowing for us to grow right this temporary thing that's in front of us right whether it's um uh, you know, car accident or a, you know, death in the family or like whatever, this temporary thing that's outside of us, right, is an opportunity for us to grow deeper and for us to formulate a deeper connection with ourselves. And so that is why, and I find meditation to really be the key, the anchor, the root that keeps me grounded, that allows me to, when I'm coming across these difficult circumstances in my life, in my life, you know, like i it feels like shit, right? Um, it allows me to say, okay, like this is a shitty circumstance and what can I do to move through it quicker versus like, oh my God, like I can't believe it. I got in a car accident and I have 800 million things to do and it's not fair and why didn't it happen to so-and-so and you know, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up because whatever. Like, you know, like I, I don't, allow myself to go down this negative path of like and nobody takes care of me and nobody loves me all because like then you like because I got in a car accident like no then no that's not about the car accident that's about that you have unhealed wounds unhealed limiting beliefs um that the car accident is bringing up so that you can heal them and then in that way we can be grateful for the car accident right as an opportunity to learn what it is that you need to heal and when we can start having gratitude for our obstacles when we can start having gratitude for our traumatic experiences when we can start having gratitude for the ways in which we have felt stuck in our life before that's when things start to change and a huge 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 agent of that for me a root practice is meditation and so that's why I have formulated a 40-day kundalini um, meditation group coaching program because 
I used to be a really bad and consistent meditator. I used to hear all about all the benefits of meditation, but I like couldn't get myself to do it. And um, finally I did. And what I love about doing it is, as a group is that we get to really support and encourage each other to really step up in our lives and take accountability and responsibility for what it is that we desire and what it is that we want to create. And when we can do that as a group, like true, true magic happens. True, true magic happens. And that is why we are actually doing the Kundalini magic meditation. Um, and I'm so excited about this because, um, this meditation literally has the ability and the capacity to uh, remove all of the obstacles in your path to your destiny. So it's like pretty effing amazing and I have seen some really really amazing incredible things happen in my life because of this meditation and I just know that when you um, commit to a consistent practice the practice itself has an energy that it really commits to you and like and with the group and everything like it's just like freaking amazing and so I would absolutely love 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 for you to join us um I will post a link in the comments below um you can also go to www.ashleyewatson.com uh, backslash meditation dash four dash manifesting because this is also called the manifesting meditation or people refer to it as manifesting meditation because it really helps you to remove those blocks in your past so that you can fully be able to receive what it is that you are looking to manifest what it is you are looking to create in your life so um I love you guys. I think you're amazing. Um, join me for this 40 day meditation group coaching program. So when you join me, you'll see me literally every day for 11 plus minutes because I tune us in. We sing the long time sunshine song out. We have a little bit of time to integrate the meditation that we do. So, um, so you'll see me literally every day from like 11 to 20 minutes starting on September 10th. There will be five group, one hour group coaching sessions, which is like so fun. We're going to talk about all about manifesting and the law of attraction and how how to get what you want in life like that is what we're going to be talking about for 40 days and when we do that together as a group and we align with that energy like whoa like it's going to get real and it's going to be freaking magical and amazing so i wouldn't want you to miss out on that and so uh what else do you get oh you get a private facebook group because you know like we need to like be in contact with each other all the time. You're going to get meditation buddies. Um, and you're just going to be a part of something that's really magical. And what you're doing when you're, when you sign up for this course is you are saying to the universe, like, I am ready for something more. I am ready for something greater. I am ready and willing and open to receive. And I am excited about all of the possibilities that are available to me. And I know that I am worthy of taking 11 to 20 minutes a day for myself so that I can take care of my energy and align with something great.